Welcome back to Sleep Better TV. I'm Tasia Custody, and I'm continuing my talk today with Dr. Blake Perkins of Dental Sleep Medicine in Vancouver, Washington. Dr. Perkins, I want to talk to you about something that I struggle with quite a lot, and that's just general dental care. How often should I be going in to get my teeth cleaned? Uh, well, in general dentistry, there's uh, kind of some guidelines that we go by, but it really depends on each patient. Uh, the studies that have been done regarding frequency of cleaning have really come out kind of inconclusive. They haven't proven that it's better to have your teeth cleaned more often, nor have they disproven that. So we have to kind of go on what each patient's individual problems present with and then also follow some general guidelines. So as a general rule, dentistry for a long time is recommended uh, every six months for somebody who uh, is fairly healthy. Uh, if you have gum disease, then it can tend to be every three months or every four months. And if you have absolutely no cavities and have never had a cavity and don't have any problems, sometimes you can extend that period up to once a year. And what does a professional dental hygienist visit include typically? Well, a professional hygiene visit should include many things from uh, checking your gums and the health of your gums to actually cleaning your teeth uh, and what we call scaling them to remove any deposits that have built up on them. It should also include an examination by the dentist looking for any signs of oral cancer, looking for uh, anything else going on in the head and neck area and not just the teeth. Some people really forget that their teeth are attached to a human body and there's so much more going on. And so when we do a thorough examination, it should include looking at a lot of different things other than just the teeth alone. Okay, so let's move into brushing. How can I tell if I'm brushing my teeth properly? Uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. I actually learned this from a children's book quite a few years ago. Uh, the best thing you can do to see if you're d brushing correctly is actually to initially skip your toothpaste and just get your toothbrush and brush your teeth. And uh, do it for two minutes like we recommend and then feel around in your mouth with your tongue whether you can feel anything rough or, or kind of strange and fuzzy if you would. Um, and if you do, you know those are areas that you're missing. And then go back with your toothpaste and rebrush. And what can happen if I don't have good oral hygiene? Oh, a lot of things can happen if you don't have good oral hygiene. Um, the kind of beginning stages of poor oral hygiene are shown in what we call gingivitis, and that's a term that everybody's heard on TV anytime that you see toothpaste commercials. And gingivitis essentially means uh, redness and irritation of the gums. And if that redness and irritation is not dealt with with proper hygiene, that can develop into what we call periodontal disease. And that affects also the bone that holds the teeth in place. And so eventually, if it's not treated, you can actually lose your teeth through uh, the periodontal disease. Okay, so even with proper care then, can someone still develop cavities? Uh, yes, actually, that's, that's a good question. Even if you're doing proper oral hygiene, uh, you can develop decay, you can develop gum disease, you can develop other things, uh, which is again why it's so important to be seen regularly because your dentist can catch that stuff a lot quicker than you can. Uh, for instance, um, if you're not seen regularly uh, and you um, develop a cavity, it can be very small. And that cavity can be treated very quickly and easily if it's seen and caught. But if you, do, you decide, well, I don't need to go to the dentist, you know, I went last year, that cavity can continue to grow until it becomes a much more expensive and difficult process to take care of rather than something quick and easy that could have been done uh, really simply. Thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. My guest today has been Dr. Blake Perkins of Vancouver, Washington, and you've been watching Sleep Better TV.